Hello, Tilray traders and investors. It's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth for a Tilray update video. We're going to be going over their earnings. If you were taken off guard like myself, it was basically thought that it was going to be on May 18th. That's what investing.com said. That's what TradingView said. I was not prepared for this whatsoever. So let me know in the comments below if you were taken off guard uh, by this report. But essentially, if you go to the investor relations page at Tilray.com, you can see their latest filing and the stock was down today. We also had VFF reported earnings, which were less than stellar. So it was getting slammed today. I'll do a separate video on the MJ sector um, review in a, just a few moments after this video. But I did want to come on and do a quick update for Tilray because like I said, I know a lot of people were probably taken by surprise on this. So before we jump into today's video, make sure to smash the like and subscribe to the channel. And we'll look at the Tilray chart in just a second. But we did come in with a huge miss on the Tilray numbers. So just taking a look at the revenue, gross was 48 million. And if we take a look at this Yahoo Finance article, so essentially the quarterly loss of 0.19 per share versus the estimate of 0 0.10, and that was the Zach's consensus estimate. And this compares to a loss of 0 0.49 per share a year ago. And the quarterly report represents an earnings surprise of negative 90%. Over the past last four quarters, the company has only surpassed that EPS estimate two times, and it came in at 48.02 million for the quarter end of March 2021, and missed estimates by 22.38%. This compares to a year ago revenues of 52.1. So not uh, not too surprising why Tilray and Afria wanted to merge, based on the Tilray earnings report and the last APHA earnings report as well. But if we take a look at Investing.com. We were expecting 59.69 million, and again, it says May 18th, but huge miss there, and stock was getting slammed. Saw a huge bounce after it got upgraded there by Jefferies, and from the low, we had a bounce of about 20%, and I did exit most of that position. I did add some today as well, just about $15, and I will look to add another position potentially tomorrow, depending on how extreme we get, but we are down here after hours, down three and a quarter percent essentially, and stock is getting slammed. But at this point, we'll be looking to the lows of 1383. We need to hold 1383. If we can form a higher low compared to that level and then attempt a daily trend change, that would be a notable shift. But we can fail the close above EMA 12. But if we could change the daily trend here and then break above the EMAs, that would be notable. But again, the weakness in VFF today down over 25, was down 27% at one point. So just seeing the weakness across the entire sector and taking a look at Tilray here, again, we're extre still extremely, extremely bearish on the weekly time frame, And we do have the 50 weekly moving average down at 1245. So if we do see a break of the support at 1383, we'll be watching that level. And we also have the 200 day moving average down at 1344. So we'll be watching 1344 and 1245. And 1344 could come into play tomorrow Again, if we see weakness in SPY, we are not set up well at all. If the broader market pulls back, I just did a video on the broader market. You can check that out. But we essentially started daily consolidation today in the S&P 500. Closed near the low of the day here on Tilray and we're down after hours. We could see a potential gap down tomorrow. And again, just daily downtrend. We need to be cautious as this was our potential daily lower high. And if we lose 1383, then we continue with the daily downtrend but we're just searching for this temporary bottom. And on the weekly time frame, we could still see a EMA 12 and 26 bear cross as well. And it can always go a lot lower than you think, but we are down significantly from the highs, even to the current levels, we're down almost 80%. So we'll be expecting a, you know, a temporary bottom to be set here at some point, but there's no signs of it happening yet. And we absolutely need to change this daily trend here. So it's going to be all about 1383. If we can hold that low, form a higher low, and then break resistance up at 1702, that would confirm a daily uptrend. And then the weekly bounce would be underway at that point. But on the weekly, we have yet to really get a bounce going ever since this pullback. We've got a lack of resistance just up from current levels to the recent high. We're looking at about 350%. So. All eyes will be on the 200 daily moving average down at 1344 tomorrow. Again, if we do lose that and daily support, we'll be looking down to 1245, which is the 50 weekly moving average. 
and we'll also be watching the entire sector tomorrow. And we also had some earnings from Cura after hours. So we'll see how the whole sector responds and whether or not the S&P 500 sees another daily consolidation day tomorrow. And that's really going to dictate, in my opinion, from here where MJ goes from here. So we'll be watching the broader market. Again, if there's significant pullback in the broader market, then that's going to be headwinds that is going to be extremely bearish for the MJ sector, especially charts like Tilray that are not set up well at all. So going to end it there. Thanks for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth for a Tilray earnings result update video. And we'll see you a little bit later on for an MJ sector review. Take care, everybody.